Hi everybody, I'm Vincent Reese from Cobblestone Freeway Tours and I just returned from Ukraine. Well, what was I doing there and what happened? I was there because tourism will return. The war will end and we're going to be ready. We're one of the largest companies that offer tours to Ukraine and Eastern Europe from around the world. So there was lots of work to do, including meetings with government officials and other NGOs to discuss the future of tourism in Ukraine and how it can contribute to the rebuilding of Ukraine after the war. A little more about that later. But first I want to tell you about a humanitarian run we did to Eastern Ukraine delivering supplies, which included drones, stoves, generators, food, and all kinds of essential items to people living along uh, the, 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 the front lines as well as areas that have been reclaimed by Ukraine and where people are struggling to rebuild and winter is coming and, and uh, these deliveries are very important and uh, I'll come back to that but we want to keep doing that and so your contributions to that are very essential. Uh, we also took a time to visit the towns of Bucha and Irpin as well as the village of Morshchun. Some of these places have been really hard hit and devastated and um, and it's quite fascinating I guess is the word to see um, and uh, and there's a lot of work that needs to be done in in there to help rebuild as well. In Kiev, not far away, where millions of people are still living and going about their daily lives uh, it's sort of a strange feeling knowing that the war is not that far away. I mean, it's, it's quite a distance, but on the other hand, it's not far. It made me think a lot about disaster tourism. Of course, if you don't learn about your history, you're bound to repeat it, but it is a fine line. People are interested to learn what happened. People are interested to see the results of the war. People are curious. And all over Kiev, people come to see expositions of destroyed tanks and other memorials. And uh, you're welcome to do that. And people, of course, are very curious. Uh, in fact, the Tourism Board of Ukraine is already preparing a route for people to be able to go and see and learn and understand what happened during different phases of the war. Um, it even includes seeing a Banksy. I saw my first Banksy, which was uh, interesting. It was just sort of there, right there. I'll post a picture of it. Uh, so if you're interested in visiting, our team is still around and we're always ready and waiting. Uh, of course, it's a little bit different now, so message us if you're interested. Lviv, of course, is booming with tourism in its own way, and people from, from all over Ukraine are coming uh, there for the weekend to get away, plus lots of internationals are living and working out of Lviv. Um, the Carpathian Mountains are beautiful and stunning as usual. I made a trip to um, the Carpathians just for one day this time, but hopefully I'll get a chance to go next time. In fact, I'd like to organize a ski trip. I have a friend who runs a ski rental place that has been you know, decimated by first COVID and now the war. Uh, this would be a real pick-me-up for him and his family, so let me know if you're interested in a ski trip to the Carpathian Mountains. I wanted to talk next about the Cobblestone Freeway Foundation. Uh, we put together these deliveries along with our partners, and we're preparing to do another delivery for St. Nicholas Day. We want to bring supplies to those in need as winter approaches. There are women and, of course, children and elderly out there trying to rebuild, and this will be a gift that is really special. So if you are able to support us financially, every penny counts, your donations will go a long way. Uh, also, in addition, if you're interested in joining us for this delivery, send us a message. Otherwise, please donate to the Cobblestone Freeway Foundation. That's www.cobblestonefreewayfoundation.ca. Finally, please sign up for our newsletter. Uh, even though we may not be able to travel to Ukraine right now, we continue to offer tours uh, that make deep connections with the places we visit in Croatia, Hungary, Poland, Montenegro, and even Ireland. So thanks for following us, and we'll see you soon on the Cobblestone Freeway.